So in this video, I'm going to show how to record a four-piece band in Logic Pro. Um, each member of the band is going to get their own stereo headphone mix, and there will be one more mix for the engineer. Um, with this project, you'll be able to say uh, in your control room, you'll be able to solo things, mix, and go ahead and work on your final mix while the band is actually tracking without affecting what they hear in their headphones. I'm going to add 16 channels. I'm going to use these 16 channels to record audio from the band. So I'm just going to click the plus sign. Add, actually, I'm only going to add 15 because I already have one there and then ascending and then hit create so <clears throat> in my mixer uh, these two both have input one so what you can do is hold if you uh, hold shift and select these 16 channels and then hold option while you select an input it will give them ascending inputs however since you're using input one um, you can't just click input one and have it reroute those to be all inputs 1 through 16 for some reason. So what you have to do is just hold option while you select a different input and then just go back to input 1. So now I have my first 16 channels. I'm going to use these to record audio and I'm also going to be able to play around with these while the band is recording without affecting their headphone mixes. Next I'm going to add 16 more channels these are the channels I'm going to use to make the headphone mixes with. So I'm just going to check 16. Um, I'm going to check ascending inputs. And I'm also going to check input monitoring. And create. All right, this second set of 16 channels is just for the headphone mixes. So when, if, I, if I were to solo... Um, one of the channels in my in my control room. I don't want it to affect the headphone mixes So what I have to do is open the mixer and control click the Solo button on on the last 16 channels um, You can't for some reason you can't do this in the arrange window So you do have to open your mixer and do it there. So I'm just going to control click the S which is solo on these last 16 channels. Next I'm going to create four buses for headphone mixes. So um, with these last 16 channels selected I'm going to add four buses. So bus 1, bus 2, bus 3, and bus 4. So as you'll see it will automatically create four aux sends over here for you to use for headphone mixes. So I'm just going to go ahead and rename these HP1 for headphone 1, HP2 for headphone 2, HP3 for headphone 3, and HP4 for headphone 4. Next, I'm going to add a reverb send, just in case anybody in the band has to hear reverb in their headphone mix. So let me select these last 16 channels again. Let me deselect that. And I'm just going to add another bus, bus 5. Um, it automatically adds another aux, so I'm just going to name that reverb. Um, and on that channel I'm just going to insert some reverb um, let's just do gold verb and then I'm going to send this reverb to each headphone bus evenly uh, that way if I send anything to the reverb it will automatically go into the, all the headphone mixes so if I click uh, hold option while you click all these sends it'll make them all go to zero so now if I send anything <clears throat> um, to the reverb it'll automatically show up in the headphone mixes and by the way we want to just cancel out the solos on all of these as well by control clicking the S next I'm gonna go back into the arrange window and I'm just gonna hide all of these channels that I made 
for headphone monitoring. So just um, if you check this H up on the top, it'll turn green and it shows your little H on each channel to hide it. So I just want to click that H on all these channels. And this way they'll be hidden from my uh, record, from my arrange window. So while I record, I only have to look at the 16 channels I'm actually recording. So now that I've got those channels hidden, I can open up my mixer and the, they won't show up in the mixer. And it'll make it a little less confusing as I'm going through and setting up all my input channels. Now I'm going to go into the environment window and set that up. So option eight, or what is it? Command eight <clears throat> gets you in the environment window. Um, I want to just kind of separate these two sets of channels just so it kind of looks like one is like a main board and one is like a monitor board. So I'm going to select these last 16 channels and I'm just going to move them down underneath. Just so they line up and that way I know which one's which. Um, I'm also going to put the headphone mixes and the headphone reverb next to those. Um, let's put the master over here and now the annoying thing about master is it's always going to turn down all of the outputs I don't know what how to, I don't think you can change it and that's really annoying so um, I like to just use another bus for my main output and then I can just turn that one up and down without affecting the master um, anyway, so now you, well, as you're recording, you can um, do your st studio mix up on these 16 channels, and you can go down here and you can um, do all your headphone mixes separately. And so hopefully everyone in the band will get their own stereo mix, and hopefully they'll all be happy with what they hear.